while debating a land use bill at a state government committee meeting on Tuesday night, Pennsylvania State Rep. Matt Bradford laid his hand, for just a moment, on the left forearm of the colleague sitting next to him. That colleague was Conservative Rep. Daryl Metcalf, who interrupted Bradford mid-sentence with a personal bit of information. Look, I am a heterosexual. I have a wife, I love my wife, I don't like men as you might. But stop touching me all the time, Metcalf told Bradford, who then began laughing. Pennsylvania state lawmaker says he's a heterosexual and doesn't like men touching his arm. Several other members of the committee, which Metcalf chairs, giggled and smirked. Keep your hands to yourself, said Metcalf, a Republican from Butler County. If you want to touch somebody, you have people on your side of the aisle who might like it. I don't in the wake of Metcalf's comments, an openly gay member on the committee and the Pennsylvania Democratic Party have called for Metcalf's resignation. On Wednesday, Gov. Tom Wolf urged Republican House leaders to consider removing Metcalf as chairman of the committee, which in part oversees civil rights legislation, in light of his offensive and discriminatory statements. Metcalf is a staunch opponent of same-sex marriage who has said he does not believe in civil rights protections based on sexual orientation. Bradford, a Democrat, appeared to be stunned by his colleague's comments on Tuesday. Okay, Chairman, Chairman, he told Metcalf during the meeting, grinning as committee members laughed. One member appeared to conceal her face from the camera with her hand. We're officially off the rails, Bradford said. My intent was just to beg for your permission for about 30 seconds. Then beg, don't touch, responded Metcalf, who is serving his 10th term in office. Bradford continued to laugh. I don't know where we go from here, really, said Bradford, who is married with four children, according to his online biography. Neither Bradford nor Metcalf could be reached for comment. Wolf said in a statement on Twitter that Metcalf's comments were part of a disturbing pattern of behavior. Rep. Metcalf's comments yesterday were offensive and discriminatory. Unfortunately, this is part of a disturbing pattern of behavior. I urge House leadership to re examine whether it is appropriate for him to continue controlling a committee that oversees civil rights legislation. HTTPS slash slash tco slash x0 nexotgag. Governor Tom Wolf, at Governor Tom Wolf, December 6, 2017. Metcalf responded Wednesday to the governor's comments and said they were a partisan attack made partly in response to Metcalf's criticisms of him, according to Philly.com. Wolf and Metcalf differ on social issues, particularly those involving protections based on sexual orientation. I think it should be offensive to everyone in this state and they should really question whether or not this governor has any principles at all that he would stand on the side of a perpetrator, he said. Metcalf told Philly.com that he does not think Republican House leaders will remove him his position as committee chairman. As for the Democratic Party's call for his resignation, Metcalf said that it wasn't the first time the party asked him to step down and that he has no intention of doing so now.